always great to win a game like that. Uh, those been fortunate uh, being around here for a few years to play in a lot of games uh, like that one and uh, to find a way to win uh, is critical. And so really proud of that. Biggest positives going back and watching the tape uh, was the way that we responded. Um, you know, that's one thing that um, we've taken a lot of pride in in the past, especially offensively, is how we respond to adversity. And uh, this was this year's offense, uh, first uh, opportunity for that. You know, obviously very frustrating first half. I believe we had six snaps. And, uh, you know, a lot of that was on us, uh, fumbling the ball there on our first play of the second possession. Uh, but I felt like the guys did a good job. You know, really proud of Kelly. Uh, got the air knocked out of him there on that one play and had to come out for a little while. And then, um, you know, he showed some really good uh, perseverance and grit coming back. And, his next two drives in the game were the last drive of the um, first half, maybe 89-yard touchdown drive, and then the uh, first drive of the second half, another touchdown drive. So I thought that was really good. Uh, I, thought, I felt like we threw and caught the ball really well. Uh, that was a tough matchup. We knew those were some talented corners, very long, and um, it really had to work on our releases. Felt like the guys did a good job. Uh, with the releases, felt like Kelly put the ball at just the right spot where only we could catch it. Uh, so I was pleased with that. And then really pleased with the way that we finished with the four minute offense uh, there at the end. You know, we, we, we reviewed uh, last year and uh, we were in a very similar situation last year at their place and really messed it up offensively, uh, running out of bounds and um, gave them a possession and an opportunity to go throw a deep ball in the end zone to, to end the game last year. So really pleased uh, with uh, being able to be in that same position and finish it. Uh, two key third down uh, plays, and it uh, feels great to have the ball in your hands uh, uh, to finish the game, especially uh, versus a talented team like that. Um, plenty to coach. You know, I think the biggest negatives starting off were the uh, two turnovers, and um, you know, you turn over the ball against a team like that and those kind of games, uh, you can get beat and uh, something that we harp on and will continue to do. And hopefully our guys will learn uh, from that. And also, uh, you know, we got Kelly hit a little bit more than we wanted to. Uh, you got to give them credit. Very talented defensive front. Those ends were very active and uh, they'll make a bunch of plays this year. But but uh, our guys go against talented ends uh, every day in practice and we've done better and we can do better. And I know we'll get some of that cleaned up. And then, uh, you know, just didn't quite have the rhythm that we wanted. Um, you know, some of it was what they were doing. Some of it was uh, a lack of communi communication. Had a few things where we weren't on the same page on uh, that early third down. And uh, so therefore, when you, don't, when you don't convert on third down, then uh, it hurts your tempo, it hurts your number of plays overall. And uh, so there's definitely some things that we can clean up and uh, be able to learn from this one. Uh, but overall, uh, you know, it's the first time that a lot of those guys were in that type of situation uh, in a big game. and. Uh, you can practice it, uh, but you, you really, there's no uh, substitute for experiencing it. So it's something that uh, we'll be able to grow from and then also uh, use the way that we finish there uh, for some confidence down the road uh, if we get put in a similar situation. Coach, um, Ray Ray had that fumble, of course, and, and then he came right back. He had a nice punt return, and then he made that big 30 yard catch. Is that the first four? How much does that exemplify really his maturation from last year when he made a mistake like that? Yeah, and uh, we actually talked about that. You know, last year he had the, uh, the deal going in against Troy, and uh, he gave up an easy touchdown, and I don't think he responded the right way the rest of the game. And, and um, you know, that's difficult. Ray Ray's just out there trying to make a play, and he didn't have that ball tied enough and, and gives it up to them there on the 10-yard line. Fortunately, our defense uh, held them to three points. And, um, you know, just said, hey, next play. Uh, and you can, you, you've got the ability to go make up for that. And, uh, and that you can do that the rest of this game. And I could tell when he took that next punt return, uh, the very next series, I could tell the way he was running with that ball that, that he, he knew uh, he had a little bit of making up to do. And I felt like he did that. But it was definitely good to see because that's what we talk to our guys about all the time. When you're playing good opponents, um, you know, you're going to make mistakes. You know, those things are going to happen. Let's learn from it, and then how do we respond? Let's don't make one mistake uh, lead down the road to other mistakes. And really, it's, it's how you think and how you approach it from there on out. And so uh, I definitely was pleased the way he responded. When you uh, face a team like Louisville and they got the offensive weapons they have, especially with Lamar, 
if you got a young offense, how do you keep them from not pressing and not having that where they think they got to keep up in case the defense does give up a couple scores? Yeah, um, you know, it's really not something that we talk a whole lot about. Um, you know, really, really our goal, we're trying to obviously go out and score as many points as we can. Um, you know, but I think offensively as coaches, you know, as we're game planning and doing those type of things, you know, we, 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 we kind of know the temperature of the game, which, what you're playing against. And, and um, you know, there's no doubt uh, Louisville's got an explosive offense. And I think last year, you know, it was a great display of, of two explosive offenses going back and forth. And, uh, you know, we've got a good defense, and they've got a really good defense as well. So, uh, again, it's going to be a, another big challenge. But, you know, I think our guys, that the message uh, doesn't change uh, week to week. Our, our message is, hey, it's about us. And, uh, you know, even though Auburn uh, was very talented and did some really good things on their side, you know, we can go back in these meetings this afternoon and, and show why the, why the drive stopped. And a lot of the reasons was because of things that uh, we didn't do correctly. And uh, so our message this week will be the same. And going to play very difficult uh, environment on the road, prime time, 8 o'clock, against a very uh, confident and talented defense. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's about what we do, how we execute. And uh, if we do that and protect the ball, then you know we feel like we got a, a good shot in every game that we play. Jeff, you talked about the communication issues, some struggles with rhythm at, at, at times like that. Are these things that can get cleaned up in these four or five days? Yeah, they are. Um, you know, they're, they're really um, things just, you know, we're rolling some guys up front. And, you know, one guy hears it a little bit different than the other guy. Uh, heard it, and uh, those are things that, that we can control. And uh, for the most part, we've done a good job with that. I, you know, we were really pleased in our in our opener that we did not have any of those issues. That's usually what you see a little bit in your your first game, uh, but it just it was at the wrong time uh, Saturday night in a couple uh, key situations. And uh, so that's definitely something we got to get cleaned up because it'll be this will be our first. You know, every week it's like a new challenge, right, for this new offense. And this week now we're on the road. It's going to be a loud environment, and uh, so we've definitely got to get some of that communication stuff cleaned up. And I'm confident we will. Going back to the environment, what are some things you have to kind of do with, with Kelly and make sure those guys are ready? For well, I, mean, I think the standard stuff that we do, we'll, we'll pump plenty of uh, noise uh, in here this week, and uh, you know, the, the verbal communication is definitely going to be uh, limited uh, because of. Um, you know how loud it gets there. Um, you know, I think uh, you know the biggest thing for our guys is just being sure that we're all on the same page. Uh, you know, looking back, getting the signals, uh, being able to line up, do all those type of things where it doesn't uh, you know cost us a timeout or delay of game or those type of things. But you know, I think the biggest thing for us is you know getting some music in here and then just really focusing on what we're doing in our ex execution. Remember the last couple of years, Wayne would say he didn't feel. Like he was in the game until he'd been hit 10 to 12, 15 times, get those carries in. Is there any thought process of, of naming just one guy at running back and, and going out there and getting him lathered up to make the running game maybe a little bit more effective? Yeah, I mean, I think um, those guys are so close. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think there's a there's a one guy out in front of the other. Um, you know, that, that could happen as the season goes, and we'll just kind of let that develop. But right now it's a very – uh, close uh, competition uh, between those three, and then also, you know, Travis is a guy that's going to get more opportunities as it goes. Um, you know, it's kind of a difficult situation there Saturday night in a one-possession game. <laughs> it's a tough position to just throw a true freshman out, especially everything that they were doing um, from a blitz perspective. Uh, but you know, really, those four guys, uh, we've got confidence in all of them. They're going to all have their moments, and then really, whoever kind of gets the hot hand uh, is the guy that we'll lean on. Um, but right now, I think the, the competition is close enough that we're not in a position to just put one guy out there. Jeff, uh, the Dion, I guess you're pretty happy with his positioning and physicality on those 50 balls. You talk a lot about that and all this stuff. Yes, and uh, I'll tell you, the thing I'm most pleased with with Dion is the way that he's uh, graded out. You know, Dion's always been a productive player, but up until this year, he's not been a – a guy that's graded really well on all the details, the alignment, the assignment, and all the, the fundamentals that go into to being a great receiver. And, um, you know, Dion's had two of the highest grades, uh, really, that he's had since he's been here. And so that's something I'm really pleased with. You know, we're challenging him, hey, you're taking the next step. Now you're going to be a starter, you're going to be a leader, you're going to be an every down wide out. 
you know, can you, can you up your game and really improve in those areas? And he has. Uh, he's had very few minuses and uh, he's playing fast and I'm very pleased with where he is. And I mean, again, those were some, some big battles. We, we won some of the matchups and they won some of the matchups. And that's kind of what we knew going into the game. And, you know, we talk to our guys all the time that you never know uh, when those plays are going to come that could change the, uh, you know, outcome of the game. And a few of those, those two touchdown drives, we had some big conversions with both Dion and Ray Ray that, uh, you know, if we don't complete those balls, it could be a different situation. And uh, I felt like those guys um, really are playing well. Those first three, I've got a lot of confidence in them. And, and the, and the next group behind them, I think, uh, will continue to get more experience. How much of an art is it to create separation without getting flagged for offensive pass interference? And, and how much do you think um, Dion and, and Ray Ray have learned that from Mike Williams? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a, a battle. Um, you know, the college game is different in the, from the NFL game in that respect that they let the, the wideouts and DBs really battle uh, for those balls. And it's a very fine line between uh, a no call, a, a defensive PI, and an offensive PI. Um, you know, but the biggest thing for us is, is winning the release, being in the proper position, and then being strong to the ball and really going up and attacking the football and finishing. And uh, that was, especially the one that was on our sideline, you know, Dion did a great job of attacking it and finishing it all the way down. And, um, you know, those are some of the best corners uh, that we'll see all year. Coach, uh, coming in a little bit late here, but is the battle at right tackle wide open after Saturday? Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, that's kind of where we were coming out of, of fall camp is letting those guys, it was close enough that we were going to let those guys uh, compete on the field. And, um, you know, bo both of them uh, have done some really good things in, in fall camp. Both of them did some really good things against Kent State. And, uh, you know, there, there was some some mistakes made uh, Saturday night. They also did some good things, you know, but, you know, offensive line is kind of like the the uh, snapper, punt snapper, or field goal snapper, you only notice them, you know, whenever they uh, make a mistake and, and do something wrong. Sometimes I'll have a receiver runs the wrong route on the backside and nobody knows it but me. And, uh, but, you know, those guys up front, if they make a mistake, everybody gets to see it. So um, I think both of those guys are talented. I think both of them have a lot of pride. And I know Coach Caldwell's going to uh, work hard with them to get some of those things corrected um, uh, as we go forward. I know Kelly, um, on, on what I saw, <coughs> Yeah, I, I was very pleased uh, with how Kelly played. Again, first time in that type of environment, that type of game. I mean, I've been around here for a long time, and um, you know, it's very impressive as a first-time starter uh, the way that he played. Uh, with that being said, there there was a couple decisions that uh, I think he'd like to have back. Uh, that we had a double move to Ray Ray that was potentially a touchdown, and then there was one other time that maybe he came off um, of a guy, but. Uh, he, he graded out uh, very well uh, for where he where he is uh, right now. Uh, really pleased, and this will be another good challenge for him on the road, loud environment, uh, a new situation for him. Um, but he's definitely um, uh, heading in the right direction. Jeff, from last year in last year's game, uh, you know, Artavis has that big return to get the get things started, and then Deshaun kind of takes over down the stretch uh, and, and the offense. Do you think? I don't know, Kelly may have had at least a start of one of those moments last week. Do you feel confident that in big situations, you guys have the offensive playmakers to kind of take over and uh, get things done? I do. Um, you know, and all I can do is, is go off how, how we've thrown and caught the ball in practice. You know, we're going against a very talented secondary. I think everybody could see our secondary Saturday night uh, did a great job. And, and we're going against those guys every day. And, uh, you know, we've thrown and caught the ball through you know the last six weeks of all fall camp and then the first two weeks as good as I can remember at the start of any season and uh, we've had some talented quarterbacks and wideouts here and so I'm very pleased where we are with, with that and then uh, you know I think Kelly got his first taste you know and you're on that sideline you're down six nothing at home and haven't really had the rhythm and and then he goes and gets you know the air knocked out of him has to come out a little bit you know that, that's a pretty big challenge for a, a, a first uh, year starter and I think the way that he came back and led the team down on two long drives and you know scoring drives are hard on defenses like that one but long scoring drives are very difficult and uh, so I think that um, you know we continue to have confidence in Kelly and um, I think that's some things he'll be able to bring with him because it's going to be similar situations here coming up with some more talented teams uh, starting off with Louisville this week.
when you look at, you know, talking about Kelly and how you kind of try to use him in the offense, is there certain things where you say, okay, let's kind of take it slow with him and then as the season goes on, maybe he'll do some more things now that people are maybe not yeah, seeing? You know, that's a, that's a common question. I think a fair question anytime that you got a, a, a first time starter, but honestly, we really haven't. You know, the only thing I would say is, you know, Deshaun being a, a three year starter last year, had a little bit more flexibility, uh, you know, between the whistles uh, before the play starts, maybe to make some audibles and change some things on his own. And, you know, we're doing that a little bit from the sideline occasionally, just maybe a couple times a game. But other than that, I would really say that our uh, game plan going into this past week against Auburn probably was a little bit more complicated than the year before opening up uh, at Auburn. So we're not uh, really holding things back for Kelly um, just because he's operated very smoothly at practice and then done a really good job in the games of uh, doing that. So I think really it, it has to do with uh, the game plan each week. You know, each week's a little bit different defensively what you're getting from different schemes and then what we want to do to kind of match up with that. But uh, there's definitely not a feeling in our coaches, uh, you know, meetings or anything like that that we need to, to go slow with Kelly. We really. Uh, feel very confident and very pleased where we are uh, with him. Coach, first big road environment for, for guys like T. Higgins and Amari Rogers. How confident are you in them to be able this early in their careers be able to go into that type of environment? Yeah, well, it's a it's a good experience for them, and you know that's one reason uh, that all these guys came to Clemson were to play in games like this one. You know, prime time Saturday night on the road with a, a, a nice conference opponent. Um, you know, th those are the kind of games. You know, that's why we recruited those guys to come to Clemson. And uh, it'll be a new experience for them, just like, you know, playing in Death Valley. Uh, the last two weeks has been a new experience for them. Uh, but what I know about uh, really all those guys that we've recruited uh, is that they're competitors. Uh, they, they get excited about those type of opportunities. And, um, and I have a feeling that they'll do well uh, when given the right opportunity. Kind of off of Will's question, it looks like maybe you guys have toned down the window dressing and the movements pre-snap, is that to emphasize tempo or? Um, no, I mean, I, I really think it goes back to, like I said, game planning of who you're playing. Uh, there's some opponents uh, where you do want to uh, move and shift, and then there's some. Uh, Auburn was, uh, you know, had some complicated looks, especially on third down. And uh, it's important for our offensive line to be able to look out there, to be able to ID, ID, identify uh, the different guys that could be potential rushers. And then uh, sometimes when maybe you play uh, teams that are a little bit more base and, and you know what you're going to get, then there's a little bit more advantage of moving guys around. But um, I don't think there's been uh, anything outside of game planning that's really affected um, you know, what we've done here early. It's good that the defense looked this past week. If this game Saturday ends up being a game, you've got to score a bunch of points. Are you confident with – where your offense is right now, you can go out and score four or five touchdowns on the road in the first uh, conference game. I mean, that's definitely uh, our goal. And I mean, I've got a lot of confidence uh, in this offense. Um, and I think they've done a good job so far. It hasn't been uh, just perfect. And obviously, we've got things that we can correct. Um, but we have everything that we need. Uh, really pleased with where Kelly is and the progress that he's making at the quarterback position. And then all the guys around uh, him have done a good job. And uh, there's, there's no doubt uh, that we feel like we can score points. And whenever we control, uh, you know, the little things and, and, and don't have communication errors or uh, protection errors or, or guys, you know, not doing the right thing, running routes, um, if we do the things that we can control, we feel like uh, we have the ability uh, to, to score on anybody that we play. At this point, his career is Kelly as ready as he can be to go on the road in a hostile environment playing on a game like this. Have you seen him? practice and, and go through all these things we haven't seen this year. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be new for him regardless. There's not a whole lot, you know, that we can do um, to prepare him for your first start other than going out there and, and, and going through it, um, you know, but it's just like everything, you know, this, this past week was a new challenge, uh, you know, playing a very uh, talented team in Death Valley uh, at night, and now it's a new challenge. Now you're playing in a similar type game, but now it's on the road, and, uh, but, you know, I, all you can do is go off of how he's responded uh, in the past to the new challenges, and uh, he's done a great job with that, and, and I expect him to, to do a great job Saturday tonight. Coach, you said uh, earlier about Travis, given the situation, it'd be tough to get him out there at the big environment. He's a true freshman. Are you giving the same thought process for T and Amari? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, 
the, the, those guys are going to get their opportunities. Um, you know, and when, when it's a one possession game like it was Saturday night, you know, sometimes it's not fair to put those guys out there and, you know, well, one early mistake can cost you a ball game. Um, but those guys have practiced extremely well, and our, our plan is for those guys to be able to go out and play. And uh, we, we have a lot of confidence in them that they can do that uh, whenever, uh, whenever their time presents itself uh, for that.